I've been bobbing some bits and bobs on Etsy today and doing some bit of crafting and I just thought I'd have a little catch up with you. I love this that I've made. Ta-da! It's page 15 for my Christmas daily journal. This will be going into my Etsy shop. It goes uh, in here, the grungy journal. Do you like the... Just click it out a bit. Do you like the spine that's going to be stitched? It's going to be glued down there so it'll look like that. So it's starting to really come together. There's the grungy clip on the front. So there will be numbers, pages 1 to 14 fastened on there. So let's just fasten page 15 in. Um, as you can see, I've done it like... You know those notice boards that you put, maybe have them in your kitchen and you put bits and pieces in. I was inspired here when I was at my daughter's and she's got something like this in her kitchen and I thought, oh, I could reproduce that. So I've put green and red Christmassy coloured ice ephemera on there and a little photo. So we always have a photo on our notice boards, don't we? That is stiff card and on the back more there to journal on so this is the closure as you can see it is the same as this i'm not sure about this yet whether i'm going to do some more to that i'm not sure and the way but the way this closes is it i had these in my office at work and i thought oh I could do something with those and they rusted up so well so you just take that off put your page in so you can add and take pages out of this um put that back so i just need page 14 which i haven't done yet on this side and this side will be finished and then we'll have pages 1 to 13 on the other side. Isn't it looking good? It's looking absolutely fab. This is going to be an amazing journal for someone. I love it. So that's that. That needs sticking down yet, but I'm just allowing the glue to dry and I have got um, <coughs> these rusty bells Ooh, got, this pudding. got these rusty bells for Christmas pudding so I'm going to do something with these on the spine there I just need I just want to do something here but I don't know yet I've got some grungy bookends book ends you know, from the spine of a book, like inside, I've got some, some of those, so I might glue some of those on. I'll we'll just have to see. I love those. Right, so let's clear this into my Etsy. I've just put this. So all this now is in my Etsy, so let's zoom in a bit. So. This is the vintage tin. And in it is over 50 bells. And here you go. So there's 50, approximately 50, maybe one or two more. So those are in my Etsy now. I will put a link below for those. Also going into my Etsy today, I've got three zoom out again a little bit two three of these pockets stuff pockets I'm just going to move these so they don't distract us i've got three of these stuff pockets and they are amazing i'll show you one they're all virtually the same inside <coughs> So you get the stuff pocket 
let's just zoom out a tiny bit you get the stuff pocket and on it is a vintage flower clip with vintage beads this one is paper clip tom you get some rusty pins in the back as a pocket you get a couple of vintage postcards uh, I'm not sure, 1930, I think that one's from. That's in there. I've used mainly vintage laces and then this is some modern trim. It's hessian. The pocket is hessian and it is lined with tea dyed um, fabric. Let me take everything out. Then I can put everything back in and show you what is in. So here's the pocket. Oh, let's take that off the front as well. So here's the pocket. You've got this fab fabric flower with a vintage button. There's a pocket there. The tea dyed fabric and hessian. And it's lined. So you could actually use that in a journal or like I've done. Use it to store your bits and pieces. So what have we got in here? We have got... Are we zoomed in enough? Let's have a zoom in a bit more we've got a fabric flower some buttons there should be there are two packs of buttons I must have jumped out so there's two packs of buttons in each like that um, there is one this is vintage lace this is sari silk vintage button on there this is a bingo card and on it is some vintage ribbon and some vintage sari fabric so you get three cards of that oh there's this other buttons i knew there was two there's two in each <clears throat> you also get this um it's a to-do list i've used this before making tags from um, you'll get these original book pages. This is from the Flower Fairies. There's the Sorrel Fairy and the Foxglove Fairy. So you get those. You get some, um, some dictionary pages. This is from an insect book. You get the insect pages. You get, I'd love this. This was me and I received this at Christmas. If I received this at Christmas, I would love it. Um, you get these two pieces of um, vintage book pages. And there are some lovely graphics on the back. And inside, on the other side, information about the plants. I think those are really nice. Um, here we've got some vintage lace. I'll untie this. I'll put links below to the Etsy shop. You also get this brown paper bag, which you can use for journaling. And in there is full of have a look, vintage bits of ephemera. There is, um, this is from a wedding, 13, uh, 1936, 13. 36 will be funny. 1936. There's some pattern paper, which is like, it is vintage, but it's like new. Some tags. Those are the uh, plastics, well, the card and plastic that you use, you know, to make specimen cards. So those are like money for putting those who collect coins. However, there are some original vintage specimen cards um uh, slide cards inside which are fold to make the specimen cards so those there is a flash card i used to love doing those at school i was always the first one to show out the answer there is a little tag there are some repair tags i've used some of those in the background your journal i've just been showing you um there are some original, two original post office telegrams from 1960. Sorry, one telegram and this is 
um, an engineer's assessment 1955 there is a page from a making flowers book tells you how to make chrysanthemums there out of crepe paper a card from a vintage game uh, we've done the papers yeah so all those and i think that's a fabulous assortment there take that out all of these So the, the, the ephemera that's in there is authentic, there is no, uh, it's not copied or scanned or reproduced, they are authentic. So you get um, all of this, looks untidy doesn't it, we'll just put that back in there, fold these up, put them back in. Yes, so you get all of this in this. And I've got three of those for sale. The other two here contain virtually the same. So I'll just move all this to one side. A great gift for someone. So I've also just put in my shop this envelope Ooh, let's put it the right way up i love these autumnal colors so it's a fabric sort of shabby chic envelope um it's got a vintage doily on the back these beautiful flowers on the front it's a, it's a little bit sort of padded so it's a good good weight to it and that is a good weighted closure so that is a great christmas present or and um, you know it can be used to put a journal in handkerchiefs in it can be used as a jewelry pouch so many things you could put uh, some money in there for someone you could put um a gift card in so it is very very versatile this is in my shop too that's my shop on Etsy, B Divine Vintage, B E A Divine. That's your bead, because I like beads, and that's divine. Sharon Alexander. But this is in my shop as well. So this is made out of a vintage handkerchief. It's really pretty. I mean the handkerchiefs were so delicate, weren't they? And because it was so delicate, I've actually lined it with another Oh, I just need to glue that. Another vintage handkerchief. And it's got some trim on. A little flower that does puff up. Puffs up there. Little flower on the front. And then, vin uh, not vintage, this is a more contemporary lace on the back. I think it might be vintage, but I don't think it is. So again, jewellery wrap. Have something to put handkerchiefs in. Put a gift in. Put a journal in. Put some money in, a gift card, uh, just something pretty, a little jewellery, little box with some jewellery in, that would be nice to use as a wrap. Or just to put some letters in, or your secret um, bits and pieces, your treasure. So that's me, that's where I'm up to. Take a look at my Etsy shop, um, really good quality things, and I'm blowing my own trumpet.